want to get in on an excellent strategy that can help diversify your portfolio and potentially bring attractive returns? Well, come on in because today's conversation is all about an exciting topic, using your solo 401k or your retirement funds to invest passively in multifamily apartment syndications. Hello, I'm Palmy. And I'm Nancy. And together we make the Kitty, Kitty Sisters, Sisters, your financial BFFs and your apartment investing go-to source. So get ready to learn how you can make the most of this opportunity. Please click like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Let's get into it. First thing first, what exactly is a solo 401k? Well, we would love to tell you. In a nutshell, a solo 401k is a retirement plan specifically designed for people who work for themselves or have their own small business. It operates much like a regular 401k, but it comes with some extra perks that makes it pretty awesome. The biggest thing that makes a solo 401k stand out is its ability to save you more money in retirement while enjoying some significant tax advantages. So you get the best of both worlds. Indeed. <laughs> and here's the cool part, Nat. You can contribute to your solo 401k as both the boss and the employee. And that means that you get to put in more money compared to other types of different uh, retirement plans, which is a big win for your future financial security. But that's not all, right? Another great feature of the solo 401k is that you have the options to borrow money from it. Now, of course, it's important to handle borrowing responsibly, but having the flexibility of accessing funds when you need them can be a game changer for self-employed and individuals facing unexpected expenses or financial challenges. But remember guys, it's always wise to consult with a financial advisor or tax professional who can guide you through the specific of setting up and managing a solo 401k to ensure you make the most of this powerful retirement savings tool. So why does solo 401k investment make sense to multifamily apartment investments? Passive investors love multifamily apartment syndication for several compelling reasons. First and foremost, multifamily apartment syndication offers diversification. You see, it expands your investment portfolio beyond the traditional stocks and bonds. By adding multifamily properties to the mix, you're introducing a whole new income stream that can act as a hedge against any market volatility. It's like having different baskets for your eggs, which always is a smart move when it comes to investing. Now, here's another fantastic perk, professional property management. As a passive investor in syndication, you get to sit back and relax while experienced syndicators take care of all the nitty gritty details of day-to-day -day operations. I love that. No more dealing with tenant issues or fixing leaky faucets. Department syndicator handles all of that, freeing you from the responsibility of being a landlord. It's like having a team of experts work on your behalf. But wait, there's more. Multifamily apartment syndications offer the potential for both cash flow and appreciation. You see, as an investor, you receive regular distribution from the rental income generated by the property. It's like a steady stream of cash flow into your pocket. And if that's not exciting enough, there's also the possibility of the property appreciation over time. If the property goes up, you may experience capital appreciation when the property is sold. It's like getting a double win, cash flow and potential growth in the property value. Plus, investing in multifamily properties has its financial advantages. You see, these type of investments can yield higher returns. How? Well, by pulling funds together, acquiring larger properties in syndication benefits from economy of scales. They can leverage their expertise to make more efficient decisions, resulting in potential higher returns for you, the investors, right? It's like having a bigger slice of the pie. Yummy. <laughs> Last but not least, let's not forget about the tax benefits. Real estate investments come with some pretty nice tax deductions. Things like depreciation can reduce your taxable income and put more money back in your pocket. And here's a Phoebe little secret. You may even be able to invest in multifamily apartment syndication through your retirement accounts like 12 directed IRAs or 401ks. This opens up the possibility of tax deferred or tax-free growth, which in real estate is a real advantage when it comes to building long-term wealth. So there you have it guys, multifamily apartment syndication is an incredible opportunity for a passive investor to access real estate investment while enjoying diversification, professional management, potential returns, and tax advantages. It's like having the best of all the world's investment strategies combined into one. You might be thinking, this is great, but how do I get started? Well, luckily setting up a solo 401k only involves several step. We'll break it down each step for you one by one so you have a clear understanding of the process. Step number one, determine your eligibility. First thing first, make sure that you're eligible for a solo 401k. This retirement plan is designed for self-employed or individuals or small business owners who have no employees except for their spouse. So if you meet this criteria, 
you're good to go. Step number two, choose a provider. Now it's time to do some research and find a solo 401k provider or financial institution that offer this type of plan. Look for providers with a good reputation, competitive fees, excellent customer service, and a user-friendly platform. It's important to choose someone you can trust to handle your retirement savings. Step number three, establish a plan. Once you've found a provider, you'll need to complete the necessary paperwork to establish your solo 401k plan. This usually involves providing personal and business information such as your name, business name, tax identification number, and collect some contact detail. It's about getting the official document set up. Step number four, determine contribution limits. Now, let's talk about contributions. You'll need to figure out the maximum amount that you can contribute to your solo 401k, which will depend on your business income. As an employer, you can contribute a percentage of your business profits. And as an employee, you can also make additional salary deferred contributions. So let's take a look at your income and calculate the contribution limits accordingly. Step number five, fund your account. Once your solo 401k plan is established, it's time to fund your account. You can make contribution from your business income and if you have funds in other eligible retirement plans like a traditional IRA or previous employer 401k, you can roll them over to your solo 401k. Step number six, choose investment with your solo 401k account funded, it's time to decide how to invest your retirement savings. Most solo 401k providers offer a range of investment options such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and even alternative assets like real estate and precious metals. Take some time to choose investment that align with your risk tolerance and long-term goals. Step seven, stay compliant. We know, we know everyone's favorite word is compliance, not, <laughs> but as the plan sponsor, it's important that you stay compliant with IRS regulations. This means filing any requirement forms or report on time, adhering to contribution limits and keeping proper records for the plan. It's not hard, but staying compliant ensures that you take full advantage of the tax benefit and avoid any penalties. Remember guys, the specific steps and requirement may vary depending on your solo 401k provider and your business entity type. To make sure you your setup management of the solo 401k is correct, consider consulting tax professionals or financial advisors who can provide personalized guidance. And there you have it, setting up a solo 401k is a process that involves determining eligibility, choosing a provider, establishing a plan, determining contribution limits, funding your account, and choosing investment. Oh, and also staying compliant. It may seem like a lot, but with the right guidance, you'll be able to be on your way to securing your retirement savings like a pro. Well guys, that wraps up our special episode on using your solo 401ks or retirement funds to invest passively in multifamily apartment syndication. We've explored the benefits of investment strategy, including diversification, professional management, potential cash flow and appreciation, and of course, tax benefits associated with real estate investments. Remember, solo 401k can provide the opportunity to save more for the future while maintaining control over your retirement savings. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you found this episode informative and helpful in your investment journey. For even more, click subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes.